Rain Wilson is producing a new TV show starring a popular Viner who pled guilty to felony assault. Rain said he knows this isn't preferable, but they couldn't find a person to cast who committed murder. Hey folks, welcome to the new show, I'm Ross Everett. Vine fans, get ready to get excited for more than six seconds because some of your favorite Viners are coming to television in a new show produced by Rain Wilson. The show will star real life Vine celebrities, but one name seems to stand out above the rest, Curtis Lepore, who's most notably known for his pratfalls, making goofy faces and rape accusations brought against him by another popular Viner. But hey, whatever gets those eyeballs watching, right? Rain is excited about the show, saying, we believe this show is going to be the first to celebrate these amazing talented Viners in an authentic way and bring their style of humor to a broader audience. Hope you're not going too authentic, Rain. That might be hard to watch because of the rape stuff. But I understand there's not a lot of popular Viners not accused of rape who would be creative enough, interested in, and deserving of a TV show, so sometimes you have to settle for a little bit of tarnished brass. I guess non-accused Viners like Brittany Furlan, Thomas Sanders, King Batch, Day Storm, and Zach King must not have been right for a role. This is amazing, though, because TV productions have finally found a way to disregard rape accusations. Because before, being accused very publicly of rape and then accepting a plea deal for assault would have been enough to stop a career dead in its tracks. And an update is after we initially filmed this video, Rain Wilson put up a statement on his Facebook page saying, I understand there's a lot of outrage regarding my company working with Curtis Lepore as part of a new project featuring Vine stars. Please know we are carefully evaluating your concerns and taking them very seriously. Now, Curtis was merely accused of rape and then pled guilty to felony assault. So let's be clear here, he's not a convicted rapist. He's an admitted assailant and a confessed felon. And while this might prevent him from getting a job, say, working with children, it's a green light to getting a job where children will watch and idolize him. And why shouldn't they idolize the Viner who, after he pled guilty to felony assault to avoid rape charges, tweeted, Fave this if you would willingly have sex with me. That's some solid vindication by way of social media. Everyone knows that if you get enough hypothetical consensual yeses, then you get to ignore one felony assault charge. Now, this is unlike Hollywood to look past these types of behavioral flaws in the people they choose to support and reward. The entertainment industry isn't the type to want to associate themselves with convicted rapists like Mike Tyson, who has a new adorable cartoon coming out on Cartoon Network this month. Or reward people charged with felony assault like Chris Brown with Grammy Awards because they understand that when they support these people, they're not just entertainers, but role models as well. They get that. And hey, victims of sexual assault, Hollywood wants you to know that if you ever want to come forward about a celebrity, they'll still give them a TV show. And in the words of Curtis Lepore, you want to see me fail? Convince 4.1 people to unfollow me. Let me update that. Convince 6.2 million people and a TV show to unfollow him. What do you guys think about putting Curtis Lepore on television? Let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see a fun little ditty about sexual consent, which is a sentence I never thought I'd have to say, check out this video about Yes Means Yes. And lovingly over the bunk you are bent by a cellmate named Trent, now you're giving consent. But alas, on this tangent we did digress, but you need to remember that yes does mean yes. And hey, you know what, if you like this video, if you could do me a solid and click that like button, and if you want to see more of me Monday through Thursday, click that subscribe button, and I'll tell you what, we've got a real interesting week coming up next week that you don't want to miss, so I recommend clicking it. That's just me. But what do I know? It's my show. I mean, of course I'm going to recommend that you click it, because for goodness sakes, man, it's me, four days a week!